Here's my main issue with the U.S. soccer licensing platform. I think it's improved significantly since it first probably came out. I believe, from my experience, it doesn't match where kids are at in grassroots. So I'll give you a perfect example. I just finished my C license. I would say probably 97% of the C license is not going to be transferable to grassroots. There's a lot of guys that are taking these licenses, the C's, the B's, the A's, and they're working in the U system, which is fantastic. It's great to have the piece of paper that says you know what you're talking about. However, going from the C is preparing a coach to go to a higher level. College or MLS academies or pro. Most people are going to stay in youth development. They're going to stay in grassroots. The situation that I'm seeing is the licensing platform does not teach you how to deal with having, say, an eighth of a field. How to run parent meetings. How to deal with upset parents. How to deal with kids that have zero skill. They cannot pass. They cannot dribble. And they cannot receivable. What are you supposed to do when you have players like that? And I don't think that play, practice, play is a good fit at the format that it was designed for in the D license, which was 3v3 or 4v4, especially when you have kids that don't have level, and then they're going to go into a bigger practice, and then they're going to finish with a 7v7 game. If you want to incorporate play, practice, play, this is what I do if I want to use play, practice, play. 1v1, dribbling activity. So like a technical dribbling activity and then like a 2v2 or a 3v3 tournament. Then that's key if you have kids that want to fall in love with the game. They get more touches. They have more fun. They score more goals and they get to be involved in all sides of the ball, not just attacking or defending. I think the key thing for me is we want to try and meet kids where they are at. And what I'm finding from the USU soccer licensing platform is they see it as we're another country like Brazil or Spain or France that we have a youth development system that is focused on development. That's not the case in U.S. soccer. Our development system is basically intrinsically non-existent. So until we fix that mess, I think the current licensing structure is going to continue to fail our players, which is the primary reason we're even here. When are we going to do right by the kids and set coaches up for success? How do you deal with parents? How do you deal with kids that have no skill? Because this is not like Europe or South America where clubs are free and parents are paying hundreds if not thousands of dollars a year for their kids to play soccer. They have every reason to expect and want proper development, but that's obviously not the case. And the structure that we have is not supporting players where they're at, but we're giving coaches these pieces of paper that tell them that they know what they're talking about, but they can't apply what they're talking about to grassroots. Do you love this video or agree with it? If you do, then follow Kyle C. Wilson official for more youth soccer educational content.